That is a never-ending supply of green energy, all generated by this giant offshore wind turbine, which has just started operation in China's Fujian province. With capacity of 16 megawatts, this offshore wind turbine is so far the largest in the world. It can power up to over 30,000 households per year. The 16-megawatt offshore wind turbine has overcome a series of key technical challenges. The ultra-power offshore wind turbines can save sea area and will contribute to promoting China's economy and high-quality green development. It also makes economic contributions to tackle global climate change. This gigantic wind turbine is 146 meters high, that is equivalent to a 43-story building. Each rotation of its blades can cover 50,000 square meters, as big as seven football fields. Uh, it's significant for the Chinese wind industry. The Chinese offshore wind industry, uh, in terms of technology innovation, is already progressed very well uh, in parallel um, with Europe. This huge facility represents the epitome of China's efforts to embrace a new era of clean energy through innovation construction. According to Global Wind Energy Council, new offshore wind power capacity tripled to over 20 gigawatts worldwide in 2021, and China is responsible for the bulk of that expansion growth. The country commissioned nearly 17 gigawatts of the offshore wind capacity last year or 80 percent of the total. Data also shows that China expanded its position at the world's largest offshore wind market by far, with 25 gigawatt of installed capacity. That is more than the UK, Germany, and the Netherlands combined. Uh, looking at the uh, market growth uh, in the next five years, uh, we believe that China will continue to take the lead. Offshore wind power is crucial for China to achieve its carbon goals. In the meantime, Chinese companies with the market know-how are eyeing the global market. In Europe right now, we have something around 8 to 10 gigawatt of manufacturing capacity. However, if there is no further investment, the industry in Europe cannot the demand because the market after 2026 is going to go beyond uh, 10 gigawatt. So, which means that the European market do need the support from somewhere else, like the Chinese market. But despite the increasing demand lying ahead, experts say that the global market won't be a low-hanging fruit for Chinese companies due to factors including geopolitical tensions and local industry protectionism.